Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at how you can use a image that the user has selected from the gallery in your application. Specifically we're going to look at how you convert a gallery URI to an actual file name that your application can use. So in the last tutorial we looked at creating an intent to browse the gallery using this intent action pick and media store images .media external content URI intent and that opens the gallery and I've used start activity for result and supplied this value browse gallery request that I defined which is just equal to one I think but that's completely arbitrary and then in on activity result we say that if the request code is browse gallery request in other words if we're returning from that activity that I just started the gallery one then I'm going to I'm going to do intent.getData where the intent in question is this one here that's passed to my on activity result so whatever you call this up here that's what we're talking about down here and I'm just saying in this case I called it data and I'm saying data.getData but actually maybe it's less confusing to call it intent and then say intent dot get, get data and now what intent dot get data does when you're returning from the gallery is it gets you a URI of an image so not a file name but an identifier of that image within the gallery and I output some debug information here and if we go to DDMS and look at it this is what it looks like it's content um, colon slash slash media external images media and then some number and that identifies the image uniquely within the gallery but it's no use for actually displaying an image in a in an image view because for that you really need a URI or a file name or something like that or a bitmap so to get the actual URI of the actual file the actual image file itself we need to do a little bit of extra work and the stuff I'm about to show you it certainly works on my phone and as far as I know it works on the majority of phones but if the user has installed a custom file manager um, or something like that it's, it's possible that it might not work and I've even seen suggestions that sometimes the images in the gallery can can be so big that you can't set them in an image view and that's maybe a memory issue I, I've never had that problem myself but at least one person on the internet says that and so um, there are images surrounding this whole uh, sorry there are issues surrounding this whole business and if you want this to definitely work in your application I'd encourage you to do some googling uh, with strings like Android Java gallery browse image and look at all the different solutions you can find and see if there are any issues that people mention that you might want to fix yourself but the method that I'm going to show you here should work kind of I don't know 99% of the time I would hope so what I need to do is I need to query the um, I need to query the gallery basically and the first thing we need to do is create an array of columns of data that we will want our query to return so I'm going to say here yeah, string array equals and I'm going to define a string array here and in it I'm just going to put one value which is going to be media store media store dot images dot media dot and data is the one we want this one here which is this is quite sort of unintuitive um, I would say let's call that columns but this is what you need to use and notice this kind of media store images dot media we actually already use that when we were creating the intent to browse the gallery in the first place media store images dot media but then we used external content URI and here we need to use the data value to say that um, this is actually going to filter the column that we bring back so we're going to query the gallery and we could bring back a load of different columns for each image giving different bits of information but I just want the one that actually contains the, the actual location of the actual data the image data on the on disk 
and this is the column that happens to contain that. And the next thing we do is we say get content resolver and that's a method of your activity and query and the query takes a URI and the URI here, this first value here is going to be intent.getData in my case so let's say here for example URI image URI equals intent.getData and I appreciate a lot of this is, is um, seems a little unintuitive and we may well get back to doing queries on, on things and resolving content in a future tutorial but for the moment I'm just going to show you how it works so you can get at least an initial look at it and the intent here as I just explained is this intent here so I'm getting the URI from my intent and then I'm, I need to supply it as the first argument to this query image URI and now the second one which is strangely called projection is actually the list of column names that I want to bring back so I'm going to supply this string list of columns to bring back and the rest of these columns here I'm not going to use so I'm going to set them equal to null, null, null and null now if I save that yeah the, the error goes away and this actually brings back a cursor object so I'm going to say cursor 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 equals get content resolver dot query now the cursor will uh, it's kind of a pointer into a set of results and it should only be one result here of course so we're not going to make too much use of it but the cursor when it's returned is positioned before the first result so that what I need to do is move it to point at the actual first result by saying cursor dot move to first and now it will be pointing at the actual first result and, uh, and I'll need to say cursor dot close so I'll do that already here so I don't forget it's important to close cursors or you'll have I don't know maybe a memory leak and then in between these two so of course before cursor dot close I can say cursor dot get now there's a bunch of methods here and actually I want to say get column index and supply the column name which is going to be columns bracket array bracket zero there we go zero um, now if if we were saying here we only want to bring back one column so I presume the column index will be zero but I'm not completely sure and all the example code I've seen for doing this has gone through the business of getting the index of the right column within the results and then getting the column in two steps so I'll follow that um, here as well although I'm not sure it's necessary so I'll say here int column index equals cursor dot get column index and supply the name of the column which is just this here from this array and now having got having done that I can say cursor dot get string and supply the column index which is the one that I just found and as I say I think this would probably all, always be zero but I'm really not sure so I'm going to err on the side of caution and do what all the examples I've seen do and now that string that's returned should be the um, the actual path to the image so let's say path equals well let's say something like image path equals and now um, because I actually want to store a URI because that's what my um, that's what my camera action returned I can if I want convert that to a URI so I can say I've got a URI which is my instance variable here it's my image I'm going to say equals image equals URI dot parse parse and pass it the image path now I'm from there on I'm already handling what I want to do and what's actually what I actually do is I start another activity and pass it that image URI the one that I just got here so I get an image path and pass it into a URI and then I pass that on to my image activity but 
it's actually pretty simple what actually goes on here and if I just follow this through so let's take a look in fact let's expand the source view here and here's my image activity and it's got this method reset um, where are we reset image or something like that set image so it actually gets passed into here and all that does is it says image view and this is a handle to my image view got from the XML layout dot set image URI and it passes it that URI and uh, image views have a bunch of methods for setting images using a bitmap or I think you can also use a string so I could have used the string directly so set image drawable set image bitmap um, so maybe not a string yeah so if I had a, if I had a file name I'd need to use bitmap factory dot decode image or whatever it's called which we covered in a previous tutorial but here I'm just using the URI directly to set the image on the image view and now let's go back to main activity now so with a bit of luck now we should get the image URI here and I've got a some debug output to just output the path it does image.getPath on that URI here so just get path and that should display the actual file name of my image and let's just try that and run it and while this is running let me just quickly recap so basically to, to take the relevant bits out of this application you need to start the right intent to browse the gallery with intent action pick and the external content URI of media store images dot media and then in on activity result check that you're returning from the right activity in the usual way and then specify the columns you want to get for your image and pass you do con get content resolver dot query pass it the image URI which you can get from intent dot get data assuming the users using the standard gallery um, gallery that's already installed on their phone and not some custom kind of gallery or something and pass it the columns that you want to get which is going to be this data column here from the media store called cursor.move to first and then get the actual column that you want using get column index and passing it the column name which again is this here and then we get the path by saying cursor.get string and passing it the column index and if you want you can convert that to a URI by saying URI.parse and don't forget to close the cursor so finally let's take a look and see if this works so I'm going to go to my application now and log into my application and whoops I think I touched the wrong points there let's try again there we go and let's go to replace image here and browse the gallery and when the gallery comes up I will select a picture and this has actually gone through now to the next bit of my application so I put some more code in my application that once and you can see actually in the background here it's actually worked it's actually set the um, my image view to use the image using the URI that I retrieved down here and if I touch four points on my application I can log into my application and if I look at what's been retrieved in the debug output here it's this it's the actual name of an image so we've gone from an image URI which looks like this content colon media external images and so on which is not much use for actually using with the image view to getting this actual path to an image which I can convert to a URI and use directly with my image view to display the image okay so that's it for this tutorial um, quite a lot of stuff and a little bit obscure but I'd, I'd encourage you if you um, if you feel like you got lost with this just do what I did which was basically just Google like um, Android Java pick gallery image or something like that and just look at example code and cut and paste it and modify it for your own needs which is a really good way to learn Java in general I find okay so that's it for this tutorial and until next time happy coding